Hey there, I'm so glad that you joined me today. We're going to continue talking about living a life of peace. Do you know that it's actually possible to live a life of peace when you're going through even your darkest challenges in life? It is true, you can tap into the peace of God, not the peace that the world gives, but a peace that only Jesus can give you. It's a supernatural peace. It's a peace that you can't come up with in your own mind. You can't even understand it. You have to say to yourself, how can I be so peaceful when I'm going through this challenge in my life? But it's possible. But what you have to do is seize the negative thoughts immediately when they come in your mind. And we all have them. We're not, no one is immune to negative thoughts. They all come to everyone. Even my dad, Jerry Savelle, he gets negative thoughts. But he's learned over the years to cast those negative thoughts out. And I've learned the same thing. You know, I've had opportunities and I continue to have opportunities with challenges come up in my life. But the quicker I grab and seize those thoughts and I begin to draw on that peace, that peace of God that goes beyond my human understanding, that I can go through any challenge in my life. And that's what I'm saying to you today, that you can get through any challenge in your life if you will just focus your thoughts on the peace of God through this challenge. Listen to this. This is Isaiah 26, 3 in the New Living Translation. It says, you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you and all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Fix means to be firm and to be de determined. So you've got to be determined what you're letting in your thought life. Like I've said before, your thoughts are so very important. They lead you in the direction that your life is going to go in. And especially when you're going through a challenge or a struggle in life, you've got to be very selective about your thought life because it'll take you down a, a place you don't want to go. It could take you to frustration and anger and anxiety and depression. So you've got to immediately jerk yourself back over and get your thought life lined up with the Word of God. For me, I know that I have to walk the floors and pray and just pray and pray until my thoughts begin to line up with the Word of God. Or I've got to put worship music on and just begin to sing praises so that I can clear my head and begin to think the way that God wants me to think over the situation and know that I can have victory in the midst of the storm. I can have victory and that victory is the peace of God coming all over me. And you can have that same victory. It's available to every child of God. The peace of God was a gift that Jesus gave us. You just have to tap into it. You have to either accept or reject the negative thoughts. And only you can do that. No one else can do it for you. You have to accept it. If a negative thought comes in and says, what am I going to do? Why is this happening to me? How am I ever going to get out of this situation? It's your choice to either accept that or reject that. Now listen to this scripture. This is Isaiah 26 in the message. It says, people with their minds set, that means to be fixed, on you, you keep completely whole. Steady on their feet. That's where we want to be, steady on our feet. Because they keep at it and they don't quit. That's, that's everything right there. So you have to keep at it and don't quit. You may wake up one day overwhelmed and stressed out and you begin going in that direction. Just get yourself back up. Say no. Speak out against it and say no, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm going to speak God's word over this situation. And I promise you, you will feel the peace of God come all over you. If I can do it, and you know my nature without the Holy Spirit, I'm a negative person by nature. But when the Holy Spirit comes over you and that peace comes over you, He can bring peace and make you a positive person in the midst of the biggest challenge you're going through. So like I said, if I can do it, I know that you can do it. So I just encourage you, get in the Word and let that peace, whatever you're going through right now, it might be something in your marriage or, or your finances, just let the peace of God rule and reign in your heart and know that it can cover every circumstance and that you can come out victorious on the other side of this thing. 
I believe in you. I know you can do it. And I just speak peace over you right now in Jesus' name. The peace of God that transcends all human understanding. It mounts guard over your heart and mind right now in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for joining me today. It means so much to me that you're here. And I want to just encourage you to go to my website. It's jerian.org. Or subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you know when I'm doing podcasts again. Also, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All those things. I'm out there. So thank you. And again, we'll do this part three next week. So have a good day.